Because we're on the Under Level Podcast, episode three. I'd like to welcome you guys once more to another spooky cast. It doesn't look as spooky, but if you look at Michael Morbius to the side of me, he looks a little spooky. He looks a little intimidating, actually. You guys mm-hmm. can't see him, but I'm looking dead in the eyes with this demon. This foul beast, even. <laughs> look at but my yeah. demon eyes. <laughs> welcome, up to, welcome, welcome to the Leveled Up Podcast. I am, of course, joined by Ja21, my man right below me. I am also here with Michael Morbius, as you can see him there, menacing. <laughs> but today we have a special guest. We have Garrett from the Super Gamer Boys, another podcast and Twitch channel that I personally love so much so that I, you know, pop in from time to time to say hello. Heck yeah. Thanks for having me. <laughs> no, thanks for being here. This is, of course, the Love the Podcast episode three which I do not have a name for, but when I do, you'll know before me, trust me. <laughs> we're going to dive into a couple of things. Uh, we did. We were going to do a top 25 list of uh, horror movies and kind of get into that. But first, before we get into that, I do want to talk about a new little subject we have here. We were talking about movies, and we are a video game podcast from, some, you know, from time to time. So we're yeah. going to do a little... Uh, horror video horror themed video game little discussion as well as you know as long as you guys don't mind all right let's do it yeah hell yeah all right guys so what i do want to start off with if that's the case let's do a quick rundown give me everybody's favorite horror themed game what is your creme de la creme of halloween or of spooky games and, and anybody want to start? If not, I could start. Mm. All right. I mean, I, the first thing I think of is Resident Evil 1, when, like as a kid. Mm-hmm. Oh, hell yeah. You know, like that scared the hell out of me playing that game. Like, I'm all creeped out. I it, <laughs> I don't play a lot of horror games, but like, that, like that's like the first thing. And I remember playing uh, Village recently. Oh, and yeah, was Village like, is great. That was a good game, too. Like, because you're always on, I just felt always on suspense and on edge. The, the freaking dollhouse in Village. That was yeah. horrible. Oh, that was the worst man. part. Overall, that game wasn't actually that, I didn't think it was that scary mm-hmm. compared yeah. to other Resident Evils, but that part in particular, yeah. terrifying. Yeah, dude. Oh, horrible. Dude, dude. That made up for the entire game. I'm like, oh, this is the worst. Why am I playing yeah. this? <laughs> <laughs> Like, look, I'm a, I'm gonna cater to to Mike here. That was the absolute most obnoxious trophy for me to get in that entire game, was to do the uh, doll house or the doll section within a certain amount of time. I think it was like a minute or five minutes or some crazy wow. bullshit. Uh, no, I mean, nope, wouldn't do it. <laughs> it was the most obnoxious thing. <laughs> yeah, I actually haven't played the village yet, so oh, uh, I haven't, well, in that I haven't case, tried it yet. That's a that's a trophy yet. for you to get. Well, there you go. And it's I'll get gonna it. be great. Get it. You'll get it. It's right. it's obnoxious, but it's not like hard. It's just fucking pain in the ass. I think for village, like my heart rate got up when you're first going into the village and all those lichens are just jumping around at you. Oh, and chaos. like you're getting oh, yeah. yeah, chaos and running out of bullets. I'm just unloading as best I can. I have terrible shot because like you're just reacting to everything. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh my god. It was I mean, I think that was like not terrifying, but I definitely have my heart rate up. I'm like sweaty i felt myself sweating as i was like oh my god i haven't sweat this much in a game um, <laughs> I, I will say this much about that game in particular well it was I, you know there's some parts that are absolutely terrifying um namely one of the dollhouse sections but uh it's one of the games for resident evil that i felt like i could speed run this again this is a de- this is a hundred percent a speed running resident evil game and i'm super about it awesome yeah. yeah um very cool and just to like avoid some more spoilers let us move on garrett what do you <laughs> got for us buddy oh my favorite horror game of all time is now i maybe this is like i don't know you can you can hate on me all you want or call me i'll be like this is a count i don't know whatever you know what i but i stand by it okay because it is the most terrifying gameplay experience you will ever play okay and that is pt 
Oh, that's, that's a number one on my list. That's a fantastic choice. And I know not everyone in Able is able to get their hands on it back in the day when it came out. Yeah. Um, there are ways to play it now on PC. I might have mm. done it a year ago. Uh, there's a video on our YouTube channel of me playing it. Uh, and uh, it is, holy cow, and it holds up. Like, I played it before, and I played it again, and it scared the crap out of me. Like, oh, man, it's it's just the <laughs> pinnacle of not just, like, yeah, there's some, like, jump scares, but which are just always scary, obviously, because they're just cheap scares, you know, yeah. but the ambiance is so perfect. The storytelling in such a small playable teaser, as it was actually called, yeah. like this is a little part of a game. It's incredible. The story that they're te- they, that they tell um, mm-hmm. the the feeling of just like dread and terror at times, like so not only just jump scares, but there's actual like in horror in its pure form where you're just like i know something is in here and i cannot find it or see it and or like i hear it and, mm-hmm. oh man i think it's it was per it's like the perfect game just in itself like even though i know people are like oh man i wish we got the full version it's a shame we didn't get the full version it sucks uh-huh. you know what at least we got this and honestly it's perfect 10 out of 10 in my do, book so do you think it <laughs> makes the product better the fact that it is a short thing do you think uh because of obviously like the anticipation for it 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 also added a lot to the mystique and the like kind of suspense of it because people were like oh this is gonna end up being a full game bam it's not people come back into it like now i'm gonna not data mine but i'm gonna sit here and try to find every single every piece secret, of information yeah. and the more you find the more horror comes into it because then you start to figure out that the um the i guess ghoul i'm gonna call her uh is like literally right behind you at every moment since you start like get, moving like yeah. three doors in or something like that yeah um, oh man so yeah. terrifying yeah <laughs> stuff like that yeah this uh, it, so yeah not only the the gameplay elements but exactly what you're saying like the fact that when people looked at the code of the game they're like oh yeah like you're you're literally being followed the entire game or mm-hmm. um at certain moments like thing i don't know I, I feel like a lot of times in games too when certain like events happen it's almost just like a quick little like quick time it's very uh uh just generic the way uh, design wise how they make these things happen in a game but in pt it's like no they put the effort to like there's a little peak hole through a peephole through the wall and like it's not just a little like you know mp4 video that plays like a little eyeball popping up like no yeah. like they actually mo- like animated a character on the other side pop peep, <laughs> pop uh, popping up and staring at you and i don't know it's just like so so over the top and i love it and i and anyone who listens to my stuff knows i'm a crazy fan of Hideo Kojima so anything he touches like I go gaga over like I mean I have a freaking Death Stranding and Metal Gear Solid shelf behind me Um, so I love anything he touches yeah I love anything he touches and the fact that this didn't get made it's like ah it sucks but at least we got this and at least it was perfect (laughs) yeah Uh, does it give you any hope for the current Silent Hill project going on um in my mind they're not i don't think there'll be any sort of connection at all so i i'm excited about some of the silent hill projects coming up yeah but not because of any connection to pt uh like silent hill 2 remake looks great and the talking about what was it silent there was one that a lot of people are like "Eh, who cares about it but i was super stoked about just because it looks different uh silent hill f I think right. it's called. That's the yeah. one that takes place yeah. back in like the '60s in Japan. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. and like that trailer is like, oh man, like this is all sorts of weird stuff. Yeah. I love it. That's such a um, good place for me. Uh, sorry, yeah, to cut you off. Oh no, it, the, the last quick thing I was going to say though, but to kind of answer your question, what PT? I, I feel like that doesn't necessarily give me any more hope or excitement for the Silent Hill stuff, but it does give, give me hope and excitement for the rumored horror game that Kadeo Kojima is supposedly working on right now. Like, okay. if he made that with Konami, now yeah. that he's an indie studio and yeah. he can do whatever the heck he wants, I'm exactly. like, oh, man, he's going to go buck wild with whatever game he, he comes up is, with. Is he going to so. call his, do you think he's going to call his buddy Norman Reedus to go to go for a second round? Uh, I don't know. We'll we'll see. Because, I mean, he used him in Death Stranding and Norman Reedus already let it slip a few months back that they're working on Death Stranding 2. 
Ooh, so oh, really? it's like, what do you, what do you triple dip on them? I don't know. We'll see. I mean, mm. I, I'm down, but that seems like an awful lot. Like, I yeah. think there's room for him to pick a new actor if, now. But... If, uh, <laughs> if there could be uh, another actor that could portray the main character for a Hideo Kojima horror game, who do you think that that would probably be? Or who oh, would you like man. it to be? It's okay. You can come back to this. Yeah, question we'll have to come back to that. You guys, we still have your, your, you two need to give your answers for your horror games. Yeah, so I'll think know. about it. I'll come back. <laughs> uh, Mike, how about you? That's a good, that's a really tough question, actually. Um, I think growing up with like Resident Evil, like the original, the OG one, yeah. is kind of like where I, where horror started for me. Okay. Um, but I think like, I mean, yeah, Silent Hill is up there. PT definitely is actually probably the freakiest thing you can ever play in in my eyes that is like that is seriously probably the the top of horror like yeah. it's just it, it's just creepy as fuck oh, um, definitely. but i mean yeah. i also like another game that actually like just gave me weird vibes when i played it was prey oh like okay the, the new prey yeah. there was something about the fact that like anything in the game could be like a, a fucking an alien, an alien yeah. and 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 the way they moved was like really fucking creepy it's like and it's they're like tiny the and they're like spider-like and it's yeah it's just like creepy yeah i don't know it's, <laughs> it just gets you uh if you were to pick a resident evil like particular um what do you think would be the one that really represents the the horror aspect of that oh it's the first one that's nice. the, that's like yeah. that's the only one that ever scared me was like the the original PlayStation one with the crappy graphics. That yes. is like the horror game for me. Very cool, Even, to be yeah, the crappy graphics, shit, the really so. the eight bit music going through the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, heck yeah, Same. heck yeah! Great choice, by the way. Um, uh, for me, I would have to say probably Eternal Darkness is going to be my top horror game for kind of reinventing the wheel of horror in its own way where it brought in different aspects like the sanity meter where all kinds of goofy things can happen at random if you just start losing you know your sanity meter you know the game mm -hmm. could act like it got disconnected or the game uh like you could see things on the paintings on the walls and all this other kind of stuff you know it was a very creative very inventive way to do horror and it's things that like you can see later down the line with games like PT or games like uh, Layers of Fear or really any anything of that time. Even things like Silent Hill The Room. I know not, a lot of people don't like that game in particular, but I enjoyed it. And I think there was a lot of really cool elements to that game. Um, but I would say, yeah, Eternal Darkness and the way that they did uh, the lore for the old gods and the way that they did the time travel and all this like different perspectives was very cool. It was, it was, it was amazing to play a game that didn't necessarily feel like it was going to be a horror game at the beginning and just like get completely surprised uh that would definitely be it for me and i i hope at some point we could all sit down and, and enjoy eternal darkness together when it stops being like an 150 fifty dollar game so <laughs> jeez um i know that was a mouthful. really a hundred fifty dollar game it's it's up there somewhere up it's like wow well you yeah. don't have it Come on, come on, man! No, no. <laughs> I wish, I wish I had. Hey, do you, you know have, I have. You, it, I was right? about to say, yeah. <laughs> oh, I just looked it up because I was like, I know that name. I was picturing something else, but now that I'm seeing this, I, I remember this now. This yeah. is the one that had like the sanity meter, right? That's yeah, what it was. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I had the sanity yeah. meter, and you would play through a couple of people's different perspectives. Um, the person that you play with the beginning spoiler warning the person that you play with, <laughs> the person that you play with in the beginning uh, is actually like who you're facing against when you become the main character but uh, yeah spoiler warning for a 20 year old game yeah kiss my ass <laughs> uh, here we go actually while i'm at it i'm gonna spoiler warning fucking metal gear solid 2 yeah oh, there's a no! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> which also has horror elements to it towards the end Cause, it's a little creepy. Cause, yeah. Yeah, dude, yeah. As a, dude, as a kid, yeah. that part made me shit my freaking, pants. Freaking AI starts yeah. going. It's, it's when the face like starts to get pushed in and it gets real creepy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. That, that I shit my pants. I was playing at like three in the morning as like an 11 year old or something. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my my memory from that part of Metal Gear Solid is when I think he makes the Colonel makes the comment about uh, 
uh, I think he even says like, "What's the point anymore? Turn off the console. Yeah, go Turn outside off the TV. or some shit." <laughs> yeah. And I, I think yeah. I literally, as a kid, was just like, "Cause I, I mean, if you know back to Metal Gear Solid One Psycho with like Mantis. the Psycho Mantis, yeah, like when yeah. he's like there, you actually change controller ports and there's like crazy tricks and stuff." So I'm like, "Maybe there's something to this." So I turned it off, lost everything. I'm like, "No, no! <laughs> trick me, <laughs> fool." <Gotcha. laughs> That's fantastic. So don't turn off the console if you play Metal Gear Solid Two. He'll, he'll, he'll try to get you. Don't do yeah, it. Yeah, they'll freaking get. God damn it, Colonel. Yep. <laughs> dark, Colonel. Uh, yeah, those are. I remember that. God, I remember that. Turn it off. Go yeah. outside. What? <laughs> those are absolutely fantastic <laughs> oh. choices, by the way. Like, gaming on in the horror genre has come a long way. Like earlier today, uh, I was just looking at a copy of fucking Friday the Thirteenth, which I wish fucking worked. In this goddamn office. Oh, for the Nintendo? <laughs> yeah, for the Nintendo. Oh, um, man, I hate that game. The old, the old Nintendo one? I remember that. That game scared the shit out of me. Scared <laughs> I the shit remember that. Kid. I, uh, never, I, don't, I have it. I never played it. and I, I mean, actually, I, I probably played it, but I didn't. I never, like, played it because I was terrified as a child. <laughs> I remember I had to go to my buddy's house. I lived, like, three doors down. And mm -hmm. he had it. So we would play it. I would go play it with him because I was too scared to play it by myself. Yeah. And it's, every time you go into a room... And Jason is just right there. You're like, oh, and I'm gonna freak out. And then you're like, you know, <laughs> trying to hit B A and B as fast as you can. Yeah, you just that... trying to you're trying to hit you're trying to play punch out with this guy. And yeah. Just... <laughs> um, the Friday the Thirteenth game that came out a few years back. Did you guys ever give that a shot? I did. I did the shot. multiplayer one. Okay, I really enjoyed. It. I enjoyed the crap. Yeah. I just never had friends who played it, but that was a lot of fun. That I one. know. I asked. I, I... Four v one. You know, yeah. something tells me that by the end of this podcast, you might have you might have made some friends. That want to play it. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. Sounds I, I, good. I might be willing to dive back into it. <laughs> yeah, go back yeah. to Crystal Lake. I, I, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I also I also finally came up with an actor, and this is a long, 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 long shot. I don't think this will ever happen. Okay. But I pop, he popped in my head. I'm like, oh, he'd be perfect. Mm -hmm. Um. Just because, especially if it's like a, if, if the main character of the game is of Hideo Kojima's horror game is like has some sort of psychological trauma i guess very close Ooh. to like a silent hill type thing oh, okay i i i i don't know you might hear my thing and be like what the heck uh i i think jake gyllenhaal would kill it that's pretty and that's good. because oh, yeah, that's freaking good. donnie darko freaking nightcrawler like either yeah. of those like he plays a great crazy person <laughs> like okay i was like imagine him like being in a game where he's just like losing it the whole time and he's just like yeah dark in this dark recesses of his mind well it's a long shot i don't know if you'd ever do anything like that like he seems kind of like a little too like oh i'm too good for that but you know what i'm gonna go be mysterio yeah i guess so well, <laughs> well, that, hey, if, that, if that possible crossover between jordan peele and uh and kojima's is gonna lead Ooh. to something uh because there's rumors of jordan peele being involved and there was like a podcast with that's right. All right. Yeah, he was he was a them. guest on on Kojima's I mean, podcast. You might get yeah. like, I mean, because Daniel Kaluuya, Daniel Kaluuya, yeah, is that his name from Nope and Get yeah, Out? Yeah, I, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's he's really in with Jordan Peele with uh, Jordan Peele, and like, I think he'd he'd be a he'd be a solid choice too because he's I mean Nope and oh, man. Get Out are yeah. solid. So yeah, very yeah. Good. I love Nope. Uh, that was yeah. a good ass. Nope was awesome. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Jeff? Since we're all we're all answering it now, this is the. I thing. mean, I, I thought everybody was gonna say Henry Cavill, you know, because he's really. Oh no! I, I was, no. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I, just because I want to see what next gen graphics could do, I, I was actually gonna say Willem Dafoe. That's what I was gonna That'd say. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, Willem yeah. Dafoe would be cool to see. Yeah. That would be. Let's just go Robert Pattinson, Pattinson then. You know, yeah. it'd be cool to see <laughs> if you're gonna if we're gonna go old school like that. What yeah. like what about Jack Nicholson from The Shining? You know, put well, I mean, the people who are like able to do it now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, like Willem Dafoe would work because he's still yeah. like, you know, yeah, yeah, or, yeah. yeah. Oh God, could you imagine Danny DeVito? I just threw that out there, but could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> in a horror game yeah i couldn't take him serious i'd be like waiting for him to drop a, a one-liner or something like it's, that it, no it's it's like it's like there, it has its advantages exactly. and disadvantages like you have to start pushing like milk crates to like look above certain things to, you know what i mean oh, God. I want him he to still be like, I still want him to be like Danny DeVito though in the game. Yeah. Like he's still like he is dropping those one and those being goofy, but it's like just horrible things happening around him. I want him to be Frank from uh, It's Always Sunny. <laughs> yeah. Hideo Kojima came over and he asked me if I wanted to be in a game. So then I started blast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my man. 
man. God. Um, no. you know who'd be good? I think um he I think he was he was also in um uh, what's it called? Uh that in the last game they they did um I can't just try to like we're just Di- Guillermo about. del Toro? Yeah. No, Mads no. Mickelson. Mads oh man, oh, oh, oh yeah, he's, Michael New. He's Mads, Michael New. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. My favorite Mads character would be I mean he's favorite a great, character from Death Stranding, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, he's a great actor. Also, I mean. a great replacement for Johnny Depp in that Harry Potter. Yeah, in the Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, liked yeah. him better. So, no. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's because he wasn't drinking mega pints, huh? <laughs> mega <laughs> pints. <laughs> <laughs> um, great choices, though. Fantastic choices. God damn! I just, you know, I just want to see what that's going to develop into. Just, you know. Yeah. Just because I personally haven't played PT since it was available on the store, so I'm a little salty about that. But maybe you know we might come back if we could play it on PC. We can come back, you know. We can come do yeah, maybe, there. maybe, yeah. maybe someone could hook you up. We'll see. Yeah, maybe. I, yeah maybe. I, I, Poss- I, I, possibly. I, I think I John. Know. I think John knows a guy. I'm gonna be real. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's move on to the next thing. Right before uh, we get into the top twenty-five IGN horror movies. I want to talk about one little thing. Do we have any horror games that we're looking forward to? I kind of want to start this one just because I was talking about this right before. I got super pissed because I got busy this week. Because uh, uh, I got invited to play some goddamn Outlast, Tri- Outlast Trials. And I've been oh. I've been complaining about this game or like having a chance to play it since it got like shown in the... Uh, I think it was a state of play like two years ago. Something like that. And here it is on my lap. And guess what? I'm busy. I can't do shit. (laughs) And I've been looking forward to this for a really long time. And I'm pretty sure after this, I'm just going to dive into it and play 17 hours of it if available. But that's for me. Like, I love Outlast. Outlast 2 is whatever. Whistleblower, absolutely fantastic game. Uh, You know, I mean, you know, just for the sake of, uh, uh, you know, audiences here uh, you know a lot of a, f- a lot of phallic items in that whistleblower a lot of uh you know uh uh chewable uh maybe uh drainable items in in that game uh i've not played this so i have no idea what you're getting at. Like, oh, oh, okay all right enjoy sure. whistleblower when you finally play it by the way um but no it's it's a it's a really cool series i like it and uh, the way that it looked, it's like we're going to finally get some sort of multiplayer aspect to it. Uh, not not entirely like a Dead by Daylight, but, you know, something I, I would imagine pretty similar, but still its own entity. And I'm down with it. Yeah. How about you guys? Any, uh, anything. Any I, yeah, I am looking forward to, and fortunately I don't have to wait too long because i think it's coming out the end of this year is uh callisto protocol yep. oh nice i am stoked for that uh because it's literally made by the original team like most of the original team that made dead space which is like one of the best you know for oh, yeah. mo- modern horror classics out there Heck yeah. um and they all like after the studio got shut down they started a new one they're like hey let's make a game and they're making it literally looks like dead space you watch any of the trailers and if you didn't know and you were just watching from a distance, you'd be like, oh, is that a Dead Space trailer? Oh, no, it's Callisto Protocol. But it still looks great. It looks fantastic, and I am so excited for it. Yeah. Um, and the fact that it comes out, yeah, beginning of December, just like a month away, I'm so ready. That's such a strange like time for it to come out, right? Yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> it's just get, get exactly. destroyed by some zombie aliens. Exactly. <laughs> How about you guys, John, Mike? Mike? Dead Space remake. Yay! Yes. <laughs> Besides the yes. Callisto Protocol, that's that is number that is number two for sure. Uh, but the Dead Space remake is going to be solid. So, looks so what good. about what about Dead Island two? Oh, that, I'm interested in that. Yeah, yeah. why not? I, yeah. I mean, I was, I was Dead Island about... one was a lot of goofy fun. Yeah, I loved I loved the Dead Island one, and then there yeah. was a it's like a one point five that came out right. It's called like Dead Island Riptide. Riptide. Yeah, yeah, Riptide. Yeah. yeah, I played that, yeah. and I was like, ah. This is like a teaser, but I want to, you know, where's two? Yeah, you know, I want yeah. two. You remember the, the 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 zombie games that end with a two are having a bad track record right now. Mm. So we can only hope that it's better than Dying Light two at this point. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. So real quick, uh, kind of interesting, cool story with Dead Island. It takes place on, you know, an island of called New Guinea or Guinea. So it's supposed to be Papua New Guinea, which is an actual place. Uh, right. I lived in Papua New Guinea at the time this game came out. So I literally oh. <laughs> lived there <laughs> Was back like in that? 2010, 2011. Uh, I mean, a lot less zombies, but it's, hey, uh, he said a lot less, not none, <laughs> not none, not none, a lot less. Um, I'm, but I'm just I just curious. thought that was so wild. I'm like playing this game. I'm like, this is weird. Like I live here and playing this game about this crazy tropical place where zombies are attacking. Oh man. I'm just curious how Dad Island then two or is that what it's called officially Dead Island yeah. two is an island when it's like it's like california in la yeah, yeah. It's, supposed to be like LA. yeah. <laughs> it's maybe what? it's after it's... like uh what's the big earthquake it's supposed to like one yeah. yeah shove it off into the ocean maybe that's what yeah, happens now it's an island <laughs> this is af- this is the after effects of that one uh dwayne johnson movie yes is that oh, it? Can't we <laughs> the san andreas yeah i was like there's a name for it why can't they give it <laughs> <laughs> we'd live here <laughs> oh my god that's awesome but no yeah the dead island the freaking callisto protocol uh john I, did you say one I said Dead Island. I said said, yeah, Dead Island too. But I I just saw that they're they're gonna do an Alan Wick Alan Wake too. Oh yes. I'd love it. I'm loving Alan Wick. Yeah. Yeah, I was getting into I'm watching Michael. Is John Wick's brother? Yeah, John Wick, yeah. Alan Alan Wick. Alan Wick. (laughs) Yeah, Alan Wake remake or anything like that would be great. Yeah. Yeah, it should be like I think it's like next year. Yeah. For dope. Something like that. Hell yeah. I was like looking up, I'm like I can't, I can't remember all Alone in the game. Dark, the new remake of Alone in the Dark looks pretty looks pretty cool. I'm actually pretty excited about that. Yeah. No, is it Alone in the Dark, the remake of the PlayStation game, or a remake of the reboot? I think it's a remake of the original, but okay. it's like a whole it's like a whole new game though. It's not even the same game. Okay. That's that's actually better than anything else, yeah. honestly. Yeah. yeah. Uh okay. So with all that said, we are gonna move on to this. Top 25, this IGN top 25 best horror movies of all time. We're going to do little quick snippets of information and then we'll be like, that ah, doesn't fucking deserve to be there, you know? But yeah, yeah. let's do that. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, horror, horror, is this a horror movie list? Horror, do you mind sending yeah, that to me? I will definitely mind okay. sending that to you. <laughs> you sent me the game list. I don't have a movie list. Oh, should we go over the game list first? Somebody should tell him about the game list. <laughs> Yes. Uh, um, no, I'm just gonna do a quick movie list. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna do. It. We're gonna do it like this. We're gonna do it live. Here we go. So it's gonna go from 25 all the way down. One being the best one. We'll see about that, motherfuckers. Mm. Mm. Number 25 mm. is gonna be Scream, the first Scream. Obviously, director Wes Craven. You know what I'm saying? Courtney Cox, David Arquette was up in that bitch. We already know the story to Scream. You know, it's just. It's a it's a fantabulous story of a killer gone awry. And really that's kind of like every fucking other horror movie of that year. But how do you guys feel about that? Twenty five. Twenty five on the on this list of twenty five. I don't yeah, agree. I think it. it should be higher. It's a good it should be higher. It's a pretty solid franchise, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Have you seen the newest one? Yeah. Is the newest one out yet? I yeah. haven't seen it yet. Is it good? I liked it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, right, we'll, check it out. We'll, 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 we'll see how we feel about that when we see the rest of this so 24 an absolute fucking classic from the 20s nosferatu i think that should be higher for me that I've should never be higher. seen it so so i think because of its place in time and how important it was to the movement of horror movies and things like that yeah. and and what was going to be defined as horror for the next 10 years or something like that I think it's very awesome. I think creating, uh, I guess, this vampire or this Dracula-esque character, mm-hmm. but making them not this like almost perfect, like beautiful being. That obviously, yeah. you know, it's it changed everybody's perception. It's like, oh, Dracula, you you think this guy with a fucking cape? It's, it's got you know, he's got a little bit of the got a little bit of pomade on his hair. You know, brushes it back a bit. Handsome guy. Nah, this guy's a fucking monster. Actually, he's like, <laughs> goddamn, dude. <laughs> well, it's a different. It's a different breed of vampire. It is. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. 
but it's even like then, horrific, it's like horrific vampire rather than like seducing vampire yeah right. but that's that's like always a cool thing like you would see things in the future like underworld where some of the vampires are looking looking a little looking a little messed up you a know rough. What I mean? a little a rough. rough down the I, dumps I, I, underrated movie underworld's fantastic yes yes, yes, it, yes it is maybe we'll see it here maybe we won't <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't I mean, know. I, mean, I don't know if it deserves to be on the top twenty-five, but we'll see. It's not even horror <laughs> movie. That's an action film. Yeah, monsters. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, number twenty-three is the Blair Witch Project. I kind of don't care where this is on on this list. I think it should personally. be off the twenty off the twenty-five. You can kiss my ass, but. Uh, I don't. I don't care. Where, <laughs> I don't care where it is on this list, but I, I as long as it's on this list, there's something amazing and special about found footage movies, and this is like the one everybody's brain goes to when they think of found found footage movies. It's, yeah, I, they, I, I I actually don't even I don't even know if I've ever actually seen the original. To be completely honest, yeah. But I will say that it is. It has to be probably like honestly one of the most like. Uh, genre changing films yes mm-hmm. yeah in the last like god i don't even know how many years yeah definitely because impactful it, it sure. fucking made a huge impact on how horror was made for the next like 10 20, years 23 20 years, years. Yeah, yeah seriously like it's it's been insane how much that yeah. movie it's it's like you know it's like resident evil resident evil is like the original is like the horror game that made horror yeah. games you know a thing horrifying basically. Yeah, <laughs> horrifying. Oh, yes, I like that. <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, you know, you definitely see stuff like this in modern movies, even things that came out like 10, 15 years ago, <laughs> things like um, Paranormal Activity and shit like that, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, and just the way that cinematography was done after that, too. A lot of POV, a lot of like uh, really looking at the horror or looking at the emotions of the characters that you're trying to show yeah. off, you know? Um, so you say this would be in the top, not top ten, but I'd the say bottom tier of like twenty. Yeah, breaking twenty. I would uh, say no. I would say breaking out of twenty. Right. I think is okay. where this would be. Yeah. Um, does anybody want to hit me with the next one, number twenty-two? Uh, that is the nineteen thirty-one Dracula. Yeah, that's that's a mm, that's, ah, Bella Lugosi. Oh yeah. my God. That's the original. From the original Bram Stoker novel, right? That's right. Have you guys read the Bram Stoker novel? I have not. Dracula? It's very no. interesting. It's it has a lot of like kind of boring parts, but it gives Dracula all these fucking weird ass powers, like the <laughs> powers that we like think, oh, he shouldn't have that. There's no fucking yeah. way. Like, uh, it's the st- type of stuff that we see later on, though, where it's like he has the power of suggestion. He has the power to take over your mind willingly all kinds well, of like so it's a, he's a jedi shit. he's basically yeah, a jedi yeah, yeah he's a yeah that <laughs> yeah. drinks blood for his that drinks blood yeah okay yeah. all right i want to suck your blood yeah. and then he does the jedi mind trick like hand signal and then he just that's, that's he, how he gets the force is he sucks your life force give so. me your midichlorians <laughs> <laughs> no definitely uh it goes through the story of the Bram stoker novel you got all kinds of fantastic imagery fantastic set design beautiful beautiful castle um and you get to see how renfield just becomes dracula's absolute super bitch and all he wanted to do was go over there and write up some papers about real estate and insurance or some stupid shit (laughs) (laughs) and now he's a puppet forever so get fucked Uh, get fucked renfield get fucked But anyways, uh, Mike, can you give me the next one? 28 Days Later. You guys can talk about this one because I've never seen any of those movies. Oh, I love this movie. I actually like this movie, but I actually like the next one better. The, weeks. the 28 Weeks Later. Weeks later yeah. yeah, I thought that was a better like zombie yeah. movie. Mm-hmm. But do you think, that's where I'm, do you that's think where it deserves, I'm at with that movie. Do you think it deserves to be there, 21? Uh, no. Oh. Yeah. Should it be higher or lower? lower lower you think it's like a it's more like an actiony movie or more like yeah it, it it's it's like i mean it is like the walking dead right where it's less about the 
the zombies being the scary thing. I feel mm-hmm. I felt like I was more about the humans that they come across and that they interact with. So it's it's yeah. No. It's that's why I think twenty eight weeks is is a little bit more like zombie ish. Okay. Yeah. So so this is kind of shows you that the real monsters it's are like the, the walk, It's like the Walking Dead. It's the humans. Yeah. It's everybody yeah. who's left yeah. alive is yeah. the scary people. Wasn't yeah. there some stupid thing about the Walking Dead? Like I really early on. I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't finish the Walking Dead. I'm gonna throw it out there right now. Um, I didn't even get close. Wasn't there like a stupid thing when they got into the city? Just like if you die, you become a zombie no matter what. You know, it was just like everybody's kind of fucked at like, that point, so they don't care and they're yeah. actual like assholes to each other. Wasn't that a yeah. thing? There's like something towards the end of the season about like because they were trying to figure out what started it, right? And yeah. I think at the begin- end of the season one, it gets revealed that it's th- whatever disease is in everybody. So potentially yeah. oh, every right. single Effective. person All is zombies. infected. Yeah, okay. you can turn well, into a zombie. How? Um, it makes wow. more sense than some others. Yeah. Uh, it, how? How like? crazy is that how crazy is that dog process everyone's a zombie fuck ever yeah, right. We're yeah. All so zombies. someone dies in their you're, sleep like oh well, you're yeah. a zombie <laughs> <laughs> exactly I mean, it, it, it makes it actually makes some logic in some weird ways because it, it, it feels more like you we've all breathed in something yeah right that is have it's like forever changed us right that, so now yeah. Going forward, yeah. if you die, you become one of them, and there's nothing you can do about it. And it's like, yeah. that's, oh, that's, well, that's, that's that's the bovid now, right? Now, now if we die, it's <laughs> how we come, yeah. we come back. Yeah, yeah. Never know. They never know. <laughs> well, like, yeah, I mean, the world may never know. It's something you breathe in, or something everybody's like interacted with, mm-hmm. and that's the reason why I'm like, an STD. Water. Yeah, STD. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you drank. Dang, dang that Halloween party I was at last night. I fucked up. I drank the water. <laughs> uh, that punch. I you know, it, punch. it's it's, but it's almost like the twenty eight weeks later again is is more like the uh, we again we didn't even bring up, but the Last of Us. Yeah, uh, I there's a reason it's a horror game, that, but it's but... not really a horror game, right? It's yeah, again, it's about I, the people, I, I, not. It, there's not definitely it. something horror about it. Jeez, oh, you can you can go. You can leave. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need you here. <laughs> you and your bad guy. opinions. Well, what are you talking about? You need me here because I need to tell you what number oh, right. 20 is on this right, list. Right, right, it's right. The Fly. Oh. You give me anything with Jeff Goldblum, I'm going to put it on any list. Not that I say that he's a good actor or anything like that. I just like seeing the guy. He just is love, an just love him. Yeah, just love actor. He is a good How actor. I'm, I'm, that's Jerry why even, I, I'm just Jerry throwing even it out there. that he's not. I'm just throwing that out there because I know there's people with very strong opinions about Jeff. So that's I'm not going to stir the pot. Okay. You right. kind of did. I you started. I apologize. You started because it. Because my second thing was going to be because I loved him in the Shadows of Evil thing he did for Call of Duty Zombies. Okay, mm-hmm. and I think mm-hmm. that without him, that would have been not as good in any f- way or form. All right, uh, all right. <laughs> can, <laughs> can can life find uh, a way? Finds a way, please. It does. <laughs> life finds a way. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, uh, obviously, the fly. Fantastic movie. Damn, this came out in eighty six. I thought yeah. it was. I thought it was slightly older than that. I mean, yeah, I, I, I would have thought it was older too. <laughs> I was. I was a little creeped out when I saw this. Definitely. This. Uh, this is a cool movie. I, I. I can't say too. Too. Too much about it because, uh, I watched it once, very, very early on. I thought it was dope, and then after watching this, I watched the thing, which for me is like a yeah. significantly better movie, and yeah, made me shit my pants more. So. That's where I'm at. I don't know yeah. if you guys want to just. I think I think tw- number twenty for the fly is like a pretty decent spot. Yeah, I, I like it. I mean, what creeped me out is like the prosthetics at the time, like the visual effects of, during this movie, mm-hmm. like were great, but still creeped me out because like he's, you know, transforming. So it's like you could see like the skin. Pr- it was, and then you know when the thing. You're right though. When the thing came out years later, you know, after that, mm-hmm. it was. Yeah, that's just for so. oh, yeah, definitely. That's what made a lot of those old horror movies so just terrifying. I think is those practical effects. 
Yes. Like they, they can do a lot of cool stuff with digital effects, but right. man, like actually seeing that visceral tearing of skin or something as like yes. al- alien bursts through your chest or as like, yeah, something thing or whatever it is like, yep. oh, it's just so it's yeah, there's no uncanny valley. It's very just visceral and violent yeah. and intense and in your face. And it's like, oh, what did I just see? I should not be looking at this. <laughs> right? Like it's where it's like, well, visual effect, like digital effects. It's like, oh, that 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 was fake. Like, OK, yeah. whatever. And it's like it's almost like your brain can compartmentalize like so, this is a fake thing and like yeah. move on. So, but when yeah. it's real, like your brain is like, huh, that was real. Like this I traumatic. Mean, like I'm taking emotional damage right now. <laughs> so, so I think there's a very good like medium and it's, it might sound weird but i believe it's in god of war 3 mm. um where you fight helios and at the end of that fight what you do is you actually rip his head off of his body yes and there's a bunch of like neck and skin tearing through that yeah. cut scene and i'm like oh yeah that would happen 100 for some reason when i've seen that scene i think of like the evil dead mm-hmm. i think mm-hmm. of like you know like like just all the skin being stretched out and oh, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Heck yeah. I mean, you want to talk about practical effects. You want to talk about things stretching. We got a fantastic addition Rubber? to this. Oh. oh. No, I'm just kidding. You son of a <laughs> bitch. <laughs> no, we have, we have a fantastic Hell. addition here. Uh, number 19 is an American werewolf in London, which also has quite good practical effects for the... Uh, the transformation transformation here you know what i mean it's some really yeah i mean practical but like i don't know if it's i think i I don't know if it's this one there's a werewolf movie i remember watching it uh, in our college at school Uh and we were breaking down visual like particles but you would look at practical effects and the transformation becoming a werewolf was like ridiculous it It was probably this movie yeah, I think it's probably this movie. This movie. Yeah. I think it is this movie. Yeah, it's probably this movie because, especially if it was like in like a cinematography or anything like that, like a class, this is definitely mm-hmm. like one of the best <laughs> examples of how to do something like that. Yeah. Um, not even on a budget, not even to say that, but like it's the best way to do it to make it seem like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. This if I saw this shit in the middle of the street, I shit, I shit myself. And I'll yeah. just, you know, I'll let it, I'll let it kill me because I want to watch this because I'm so interested and intrigued that this is happening, you know. Um, but no, yeah, totally get it. Like I, I was saying in the last podcast, I'm a very big fan of like practical effects and things like that, and actual like makeup design and uh, how you can obviously do what you can do in CG now, but without computer animation, without any of that extra stuff. But like it's it's absolutely fantastic. You ta- you hear about, um, d- what is it? Uh, commentary on movies like back in the day. You know, back in the day when they used to have that shit. Um, yeah. You would hear, ab- <laughs> yeah, you would hear about um, people sitting in a chair or standing, um, for like eighteen, sixteen x amount of hours. You know, uh, All right. to get these Having things on, and it's just like wow. wow, that's your entire fucking day to sit to like film a thirty minutes like thing or like a three second scene you know what yeah. i mean so crazy oh my god so i have no idea what this next one is so if you guys can help me out that'd be fantastic at, i have no clue either at number 18 we got let the right one in with yeah I... par per ragnar and lena leanderson and I, no, i'm not about to do that um <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this is, so I, I can't say. It either, yeah. I can't say if it's. No. Like, I, I think we're getting into like the territory. According according to Google, it's a came out two thousand eight, and it's a horror romance. So there. I am about. There, there you, you go. Maybe we'll see these in the future. Is this like? Is it uh, this movie title reminds me of that one? Movie it's a Swedish yeah. film. It's oh, a Swedish okay. Film. So yeah. It's, it's probably film. it's probably super effed up. Like it's is, Swedish. Yeah. It's Swedes go like crazy. A, like they just yeah. crazy stuff well, in their film. Well, I'm gonna hit you with another <laughs> one. Here, here. Wait, is it, isn't there supposed? Isn't there a movie like that with like a little girl that's a vampire and it's like uh, what the fuck is the name of that movie? Oh, with like uh, what the fuck's her name? Like, oh my god. No. Hold on, let me find out. I think it's a. I think it might be the same movie. Hold on. I fucking lose my shit. What I'm looking at here is Carrie, so I, I don't. 
this picture that I see here of this movie, it just makes me think of Carrie. But while Mike is doing that, you guys know about the 1977. Well, I'm thinking of let. I'm thinking of let me in. Let me in. Oh, that might which be it. Had, that might be which like had some translation. Director Matt Reeves. Okay. And it was Chloe Grace Director. Moretz, and she's like a little. That might be like, like a little girl. An American adaptation. That something. might be. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. 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 that that one, I I did see that one. Okay. Is that good? Uh, it's it's pretty good. I mean, what is it number eighteen? Little girl who's, little girl who's a vampire. Good? I don't know. Yeah. Is it number eighteen out of twenty five? Good. Uh no. Okay. Well, fuck. Yeah. I no. wonder how good this this Swedish one is then. You guys know the 1977 class, classic Suspiria, right? Of course you do, right? With Jessica Harper and Stefania Cassini and Flavio Bucci, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, number 16 is Dawn of the Dead. <laughs> oh, real quick. I'm on Wikipedia. Let Me In is a remake of Let the Right One In. So oh, yeah. 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 So, it is a remake. Okay, so then I've seen it. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. Watched it. they've seen the remake also yeah, exactly. why is this why is this dawn of the dead uh show a photo of the original for the 2004 one I'm just saying, just saying. <laughs> it's because we're on ign's articles that's oh, why okay. yeah yeah is that you know all right dawn of the dead um dawn anybody, anybody want to jump in there it's a great movie a fucking awesome yeah. movie yeah yeah great movie uh it is the first time where for me specifically i was like Dang. no i don't want to i don't want to be part of a zombie apocalypse <laughs> agreed Fuck Unless, no. that, that that movie for zombies was like it's it's crazy because like that movie to me had a it was like it was like the renovation of Mm -hmm. the the zombie to be honest because if you think about it like yeah that that movie did that right and it had the the zombies are fucking running and shit and then mm -hmm. what did then what did resident evil one do when they made that gamecube remake the fucking zombies get up and then they run at you yeah so, yeah the yeah. crimson yeah. head zombies or whatever they were called that's but, right actually that's 100 yeah. percent correct mm -hmm, mm -hmm. good job so i'm just saying like that movie did it yeah, no, you're. you're, I, bl you're right. I blame that film. No, but I love that movie. So, but I do blame that I, film for that. I I blame this film for bringing about Dead Rising and The Walking Dead and The Walking Dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, but wait, you say that like it's a bad thing. Dead Rising was fantastic. No, no, I'm not saying like I'm not saying that in a bad way. But it's like okay. that. I feel like that's you know that's that's a major component yeah. to like why Dead Rising is the way that it is. You know, I, I feel like Jack I feel like, did this movie. Yeah, I feel yeah. like Dawn of the Dead was was the movie that actually re just brought back zombies in general. Like yeah. people oh, yeah. didn't give a shit about zombies besides yeah. like Resident Evil. Resident Evil still existed, right? It was still doing mm -hmm. its thing, but like this movie like altered that path. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. And it's just that's that's that was it made it was zombies were huge again. You know. Fuck. Yep. Yep. I Sean, I know, all kinds of it was, it was in all kinds of stuff the shawn of the dead yeah. came out it was like mm -hmm. right you know okay. around that time as well that's a, a great movie uh, all of those movies are great that now, movie gonna... better be on this list as well i yeah number one it's number nope. one <laughs> no nope. actually number two is paul if you remember that one. Oh yeah that's a good one <laughs> <laughs> number 15 we were talking about this last last week yeah whenever we did this last i'm not oh yeah you're saying this. this is your favorite uh favorite um um slasher no <laughs> no anyways nightmare on elm street <laughs> <laughs> fucking with uh freddy Krueger. you know freddy yeah. keurig yeah freddy keurig freddy kroger <laughs> from the from the band fucking uh Fuck, what the oh, Nickelback. Name? Nickelback, thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at this <laughs> photograph. <laughs> um, this is number 15. I think this is a actually a pretty good place for this type of movie. Uh, I feel like all three of them should be under number 15, but we'll see. If I think we all three them. of them should be in the top 10. Yeah. I don't know. But maybe, maybe. At least I mean, not, like, as, a, as a child, as a child growing up, those uh, were, like... 
my well the four technically right four, like yeah. leather face Le- yeah. leather you gotta yeah. throw leather face in there but like those too. four were like the the most terrifying characters in existence yeah 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 i could see that but uh you know as time has gone on it's just like i feel like this is a good place for it now like if we were to go back and watch those movies I'm like okay yeah it, yeah. it still stands you know being a gamer it's like freddy has like no effect on me you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> what's he gonna do what's yeah. he gonna do nothing i, I don't fucking sleep yeah <laughs> um no i think this game, this 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 series in particular is is really cool it's really fun it's it's fantastic campy horror at its best where you get a lot of like good jokes a lot of oh man maybe we should just go into this room you know instead of yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah. getting the fuck out you know um and i think the the aspect of freddy like kind of fighting you in your dreams in a place where you have like the least amount of power you know yeah but and then eventually the most of my, it's weird i think it's dope i think fi- number 15 is gonna be very cool it's a very cool spot for this movie um but we'll see we got 14 more movies what yeah. about you guys what do you think i mean, i think it's i think it's fine as the original i think like as the yeah. series went on it got cheesier towards the end mm-hmm. like the series overall but then but, but this for the original yeah i think it's good 15 Cool. I'm surprised that we haven't gotten any sort of video game adaptation, at least modern video game adaptation oh, yeah. of this game. Like, cause isn't there one for like NES or SNES or something back in the day? I, I forget. NES, maybe yeah. not. It's a. Um, yeah. But I'm surprised, like, we haven't gotten anything in the past ten years, like a that's based off this movie. Cause that would be. I mean, I mean, they did yeah. Friday the Thirteenth. So like, what are they waiting for? Like, do like imagine doing this would be crazy. Well, not, not that not that type of gameplay, but you know what I mean. Like, just yeah. get get some sort of isn't, gameplay. Like, I, I think isn't be, he's not in Dan, Freddy Krueger uh, no, by I, daylight? I, is he? Yeah, I think he is. He is yeah. I, yeah. That's right, and I think that's the thing where he's like he's in Dead by Daylight, but he's also in Mortal Kombat. Oh yeah, I forgot yeah, he's in Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, I take that back. He's yeah. in he's in plenty of games. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> and I think he's in that like horror only fighting game, Terror Drome. I he might be in there. I can't remember. I know, thing. dude. Oh my god, we if we can sit down and play Terror Drome at some point, I would love that because it's got. All kind, all manner of spooky ghouls and ghosts. It's got leather. My face. question is: If you're gonna make a game of Nightmare on Elm Street, how face. would you like? What? How would you? How would be the gameplay for that? Would you be like these like, uh, levels, or like you're are you doing a you know open world like POV or? Oh my god! I mean, I I think it had. I don't know if they could do open world. How that would yeah. work. It'd have to be so like, yeah, like, like, the, like the town, like he's like a little more, it'd have to be a little more linear, maybe, but, yeah. um, but yeah, I don't know. It, it, it would be a cheesy game because it's a cheesy franchise, yeah. but that'd be yeah. cool. Yeah. Like oh, a yeah, that'd be, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Tell tell tell, yeah. That would be that's sick, smart, actually. Yeah. yeah. That'd be dope. I'd be dope yeah, for that. Choices, decide. Or even like, or even like the medium or, or not medium, uh, the hex that game until dawn or something style oh, like, yeah. until dawn oh, oh man, man, like a, like a, yeah, man yeah man of yeah man of yeah. yeah it's yeah. just really story driven thing that'd, that'd be, be cool, cool. Yeah. yeah 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 heck yeah um or just you know make it like fear just make it like fear mm. see who fucking shows up anytime oh, like pc sh- where freddy's just following me around the whole time <laughs> um <laughs> That'd yes. be absolutely terrifying. He's just always behind you. Yeah. He's always there, guys. Yeah, he's always up your ass. He's always like has these witty one liners. And you just hear him with his like his uh his knives, yeah. just scissoring back and forth. Like That'd in be the, cool. like the most recent uh version of, of Nightmare on Elm Street. Mm-hmm. He was like going back and forth, so you just hear the, the blades just you know, plying yeah, against just... each other. Ew. Like sharpening. That's gross. All right, moving on. For, number fourteen is Poltergeist. This movie fucking scared the shit out of me. As a game. Game. And yeah. I think it still, I think it yeah. still might scare the shit out. It of holds up. Yeah, it. it's yeah. still, yeah, it holds up. It's, it's still creepy as fuck. Yeah. Oh, it's a, God, it's a fucking I have, I have terrifying movie. That that woman's voice. Don't look into the light. <laughs> yeah, she's creepy as can be. It's yeah. No, this is this he is clears, actually he clears the house. Yeah. This is actually where I think it should be, like, 14 or somewhere down the middle of this entire list. Yeah. Poltergeist is scary as shit. It's 
the worst thing about it is like it makes you it freaks you out so this type yeah. of movie like really starts to get to you as soon as you're done watching it because then mm. like you're like did my chair move you know right. uh, did, the, did i turn the lights off or and then it, you know what it does it gives you the the quintessential i'm scared as shit thing yep. where you, if you have stairs and you have a light that like <laughs> it's like right in the middle of the staircase where you have yeah. to beat you have to beat the demon that's chasing you up the yeah. stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I know, like, uh, like that's where my, what my living Man. situation is right now. And I, I swear to God, last time I, I he almost had me. You know, I he almost, almost had gotcha. me. I almost had me. I haven't lived in a house with stairs in a long time, but now that you mentioned that, like that just brought back some very vivid, like <laughs> suppressed memories of just like, yeah, turning off a light and <laughs> up the stairs before whatever's down there is going to get you. <laughs> so scary. <laughs> oh man. I haven't thought of that in a while. I'm going to have nightmares just like thinking about it. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna... weird that that's what, that's like what our brains go to though. Yeah. How strange is that? Like what the it's fuck? It's dark. It's right behind me. What the fuck is uh, wrong with that? us <laughs> well, i don't i have no idea it's just like it's like it's really it's anything it's uh, it's like if you live uh at a house that's like by a relatively busy like um crossroad or something like that when you start to hear see like lights flashing or just like mm -hmm. a car's like front headlights just like kind of hitting your house a little bit and it kind of like reveals the the coat rack and shit but like you didn't actually see like the whole thing you just saw the outline of the coat rack and you're just like oh fuck <laughs> this is it take me <laughs> kill me now you, fucking, you got you, you got candy man standing by the door or some shit you know um i don't know it's it's crazy that our brains trick us into that it's it's but it's it's real it's very real and it's something yep. that i'm sure all of us have dealt with at some point yep. i can't sleep tonight i'll be playing video games all night Nice. You know what you should do? You should spend mm -hmm. your time watching this eighteen, this 1982 classic, The Thing, which oh, I think should be, right which I think yeah, should be way that'll make him feel better. That'll this make should, him yeah, feel better. It will, because yeah. Kurt Russell's in there. And yeah, I'm going to throw this yeah, out there. The first, the first yeah. time I talked about this movie, I specifically did not mention Kurt Russell. But I mentioned yeah. Wilford Brimley and Keith David. Yeah. And, and yeah, I feel like I got... Everybody else. And I feel like I got roasted because of that. That's so mean. But... Now I get to say, you won't feel unsafe. You won't feel scared because you'll have Kurt Russell's you'll beautiful have. face yeah. staring right at you for uh, yeah. for a hundred and nine minutes. Think about that. Think about that, Sounds sir. Good. I think good. I think this should be higher. The thing is an absolute yeah. fucking masterpiece when it comes to like scaring, being a scary mm. movie, being a suspenseful movie. In addition yes. to giving you that absolute dread that anything that could kill you can be anywhere yeah literally anywhere it could be fucking anywhere it could be underneath your bed it could be it could crawl into your butthole while you're pooping yeah. you know what yeah. i mean it could be anywhere it could be on you right now i'm never pooping yeah. again <laughs> <laughs> but it's like it's like it, it definitely put that sense of fear where it's just like well, and then you don't trust Holy anything. Shit. You don't trust anyone no. that you're around. No, exactly. You leave uh, the room for a second. Oh, what happened to you? Let me. No. You know what? Let me see your blood. I gotta. I gotta burn it with this, this flamethrower to see if you're truly a human. Yeah, and it's even more than that. It's like it could be things. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to yeah. be like an or like a very visible organic anything. It could be like a fucking chair. It could be like chair. It could be like a, a jack in a box. It could be anything, you know. Yeah. It's like it's like playing prop hunt, you know. It could be a That's beer prey. bottle or prey. Yeah, yeah. Pre well, exactly. Yeah, prey is prey is, yeah. prey is, prey is that basically. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. I remember the I remember the first time I played prey, and I think it was like a demo or some shit. And I'm like, I'm taking a corner. There's nothing scary happening. And then I see it because I know the premise of the game, right? Like, you know, yeah, what yeah. the hell the game, what, what's possible. And I'm standing there and I see a, like, there's a garbage can at the end of the hall, but then there's another garbage can that's like knocked over and rolling towards me. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yeah. I'm going to shoot both these garbage cans. <laughs> that's a monster. Because <laughs> it's got to be a monster. And then I shoot both garbage cans. Neither is a monster. But then like 
the very next thing I, I don't even know what the hell it was is a is one of those fucking things and it was just like yeah. didn't yeah. It, it totally tricked me out yeah made me question literally everything i saw in the game and that's that's what's great about the thing and that's why i think <laughs> personally it should be hired and, and also the practical yeah. effects are very good for the thing oh the practical effects very good are amazing it but now we're moving on to some to some to some you know a little bit of scares a little bit of like you know jump scares a little bit of up in your mm. ass uh number 12 is the texas chainsaw massacre i'm pretty sure uh whenever we watch this each as children it it put us through some sort of like mental trauma <laughs> um and it just created uh the men that you see today especially this one right here so for all yeah. the all the you know youtube watchers you're going to see who I'm pointing at but nobody else here is going to see who I'm pointing at <laughs> oh no so, <laughs> this, this is what happens you become this you know <laughs> i don't know if it's me but i'm gonna react yeah, like it's um, me <laughs> it's like, oh, no. sorry um <laughs> sorry not sorry you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, but no seriously this is like the definitely quintessential horror slasher kind of like gore movie you want to get into something that is gonna just quite make you question what it is to be like uh just a normal guy this is the thing. This is like this is the thing you're going up against when you have some body or something as psychotic as um, Leatherface here. You know what I mean? And it's about as real as it can get, right? Like Leatherface is just some guy. Yeah, I think uh, that's what hit home for me when I first saw it because I was like, any random idiot could just go pick up a, a yeah a chainsaw and just start. He just start dicing people and chasing me around like no, I don't, I don't no hard pass. I don't. The only thing that's different about Leatherface and some like disgruntled fucking Home Depot employee, you know, is like <laughs> it's like the fact that Leatherface can get away with this type of shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the only thing setting him apart. Like some dude who's been moving too many fucking grills for one day is just like, eh, you know what? I'm Kill done. Killing spree. You know what I mean? He gets I mean, the difference. The the other difference is also the Home Depot employee probably doesn't live in the backwoods of you know texas so yeah, i mean you, can't you live prove that you can't prove that you live in the middle of nowhere i'm sure you could get away with it <laughs> maybe he what maybe he was at uh texas home depot yeah, yeah. You know? oh, and you know what yeah, yeah. i'm gonna throw it out you know yeah. you could cancel me personally have you seen some of the people that work at fucking home depot yaki's one yeah. of them <laughs> yaki was <laughs> one of them that's why i shop at lowe's there you go that's why I, <laughs> that's why i go to the... <laughs> we go to lowe's that's right that's why i go to the osh all right you guys uh, don't so you guys uh, don't uh, I know the Osh. I know. Ah, Osh. Okay. Yeah, I, I went to the Lowe's for my shed, so I can't. I you know. Um, you can get you can get everything at Target. No, you can get everything. No, you can not get really. Yeah. <laughs> not, Fuck not no. True. I, I've learned have you now. Seen a, have you seen a chainsaw at Target? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've, I've, I've learned that the I've learned that the H E B is the place to go to get everything. That's Texas, what I learned. Yeah. 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 That's they don't sell chainsaws though. <laughs> that, mm, Maybe they don't. No, they no, don't. That's a shame. Yeah. No, they should. Though. Too. They really should. I don't they see carry why not. About everything else. It's just a giant free Costco. No membership, right? Mm -hmm. From what I'm. Okay. I, I thought you meant like everything in the stores free. I'm like, no. no. Maybe you maybe stole H those things. Maybe an H E B plus. <laughs> right. Okay. That's probably where he shops, though. That's where that's where Texas Chainsaw. Yeah. 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 That's place. where he got that heavy duty uh, chainsaw. Mm -hmm. That's where he got the mask. That's mm -hmm. what it was. Uh, oh I the mask. Never mind. <laughs> No, this is this is a absolute this I like this movie. Um it's scary as shit for me, like even now. Especially considering that I like kind of go and travel I mean, towards this, the backwoods this now. Is, this is but this has basically become like this idea is what Resident Evil Seven was. Like they like Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. There's even a part more that's or like less this. Like same the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And... It's clearly inspiration. <laughs> Oh yeah. Well, I mean that whole entire chainsaw part in part seven is just you know, but it's about this. But isn't mm -hmm. um the whole Texas Chainsaw based on like events, true events, or no? That was no, always no, the, no, 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 that was no. always the thing. Thing. I, I think yeah. that was a marketing thing just okay. to get people think, all hyped I, up. I, I yeah. thought there was like actual like police records they found, but nothing was no, ever no. proven. Well, no, it's, it's Ed Gein. 
yeah <laughs> ed gain is the guy it's the guy yeah it's just because it's so believable you know right because it's like it is like, it's based I, on ed gain it, on ed gain yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay okay yeah. well it's a, yeah that's so why i want to make the whole, the whole, like, the whole flesh he basically part. yeah he basically did that stuff or people's skin and yeah made lamps and yeah all sorts of wonderful things Mm. I, w I would imagine you wouldn't get a lot of like lighting coverage from a human lamp. Yeah, uh, it's more like I, mean, a, I don't know. It's you more pull, like a, you'd be surprised. I don't know. When you, you when pull you, that screen pretty tight, I, and you get some good. good I mean, light when, cover, you, you know, when you put you take a flashlight and you put it between your like the, the your, your <laughs> fingers, it glows. <laughs> it glows like you put it you put a flashlight right to the back of your hand. You'll see it it's there. Yeah. Um, I have a friend named Buffalo. Don't Bill. ask how I know that. I was about, I was about to say. Work with skin. I was about to say, Gary, you know so much about this particular topic, and I'd love to know why you knew so much. <laughs> we'll talk later. Maybe we can go out to dinner. Oh, I would love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice. A nice Chianti and a side, you know, a side of fava beans, maybe. You know? <laughs> come, to, come to my place. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Does this told him puts the lotions on his skin. <laughs> next we got <laughs> next we got Rosemary's Baby, which I've not seen, but I've heard is an absolute fucking banger for horror. You guys, have you guys, have, you guys ever seen? I, we seen we should probably see it at some point because I hear it's very good. Yeah, so I, you know, so we're gonna skip it for now. We I'm sure we'll talk about it eventually. We'll talk about it next Halloween. How about that? Yeah, next Halloween. Maybe uh, hope that'll be I'm, the I'm probably still not gonna watch it, but yeah. you, <laughs> do a, you, got you just do a group watch along. Get everyone in together. You have like yeah. Discord. Just watch it together. Discord. Discord. Discord watch party. Uh, there we go. All right, here we go. Before before we had the 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 Johnson Rock, we had Dwayne Jones. We had Dwayne Jones in freaking George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead. This is a fucking banger ass movie. I like it. Yeah, yeah. If you don't, if you haven't watched this one, I highly recommend. Highly recommend watching Night of the Living Dead. Uh, this. It, you want to talk about things that like rebirth or like research bring like a resurgence? No, I think something? I think this didn't. This was like the first zombie. Yes. Nope. Was it the yes. first? I could have sworn I, that there was like I a think few like, zombies. It's like the, I'm pretty sure this is like the first zombie. Like the very first like like idea. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. No um, movie. Yeah, I'm saying like resurgence for like zombie in general, like lore, because there's. I'm sure there was like zombie. Lore I, I don't. This. I. I don't. I don't. I don't even think so. No. I, I think it's it's pretty rare to find zombie. I think zombie is this movie, like oh, for real. Be, yeah, yeah. yeah, you could be right. But for me, at least for me, when I went back and I watched this, I was like, "Yo, zombies are fucking terrifying as shit." Now, like this is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is fucked. Like this is like the absolute worst case scenario, and yeah. this is very real that it could happen. It could happen to anybody. I mean, wasn't it happening in like The Walking Dead where they're just like almost absolutely fucked? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Uh, I think this is a great like number ten. Maybe it should be a little higher, but we still got a few more movies. Um, Night of the Living Dead, fantastic movie, fantastic cinematography, even with it being in black and white and things like that still a right. solid movie to this day anybody you got anybody else got something to say about it i said it i mean it's pretty it's pretty much the or like it's not the origin of of zombies there are there's stories of zombies prior but this is like yeah. the first movie this movie is the first like pop culture zombie yeah 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 right? there, obviously, there, there, was, there was like lore there's like folklore yeah. stuff if you yeah, look into it there's like folklore like... stuff. but then it never existed in any sort of like media like it right, never yeah. in, in that version of like this sort of like it's gonna yeah. kill you flesh eating zombie type of mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. did not exist it's pretty uh yeah. pretty insane first thing. of its kind yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and look what it's done it's fun yeah yeah so much yeah. zombie as we know today, today. It's yeah. insane. Can somebody give me the next number? I don't even know. Number nine. Uh, number, number nine. nine. <laughs> Evil Dead Two. Hell yeah! I I love Evil Dead. I love this Evil Dead number two. I love number one. I love the remake. Never seen any of them. Never seen any. They're of them. they're great. I but I I I will say though that like Evil Dead is it's is, very it's different. It's, it's different yeah. for me because yeah. I feel like it's it's not necessarily horror. It's just it's like themed. it's like weird, kind of goofy, funny, but like 
horror, but not. I don't know. It's yeah. horny. It's always been a. Horror. It's always been a weird place for me. I, yeah. But I think the new, the remake or the reboot is actual horror. Though. Oh, that's oh actual. totally. Yeah, that's yeah, a real that one. one. Is like is... shit your pants horror for yes. sure. Yes, I, I, I think I watched it last Halloween. Yes, mm-hmm. it's, it's a that's a that was a good movie. Uh, I, the recent one, and I think that's why I like it because it's like it's very different from mm-hmm. this Evil Dead. It's a very consistent and, series too. It, there's not yeah. very like even Ash versus the Evil Dead was like a it was I thought it was a good show. I enjoyed it. Yeah, and it's just good. I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. It's just such a consistent series, and yeah, um, you know, it's definitely a very different brand of horror because there's a lot of kind of goofiness zaniness yeah. it brings in this this character who is not the normal protagonist of some sort of horror or some sort of versus horror type movie just a regular guy who works at the supermarket type deal you know yeah uh yeah. it's i think it's it's great i think the parts yeah, you never seen good. any of the evil deaths yeah no none of them no, i just watch them they're good I, I, it check does, it out it does a great job of creating this uh i guess ambiance or this this air of horror mm. through through spoiler warnings that through the necronomicon and things like that yeah. um and it i love it i love that it brings like a uh an occult item into the mix and yeah. a bunch of crazy shit happens because of it it's a good movie good awesome. movie number Definitely. nine i don't fucking know but good movie yeah. <laughs> uh i oh I, I think this is a great one Number eight is The Silence of the Lambs. That's a banger. It's a great Fantastic. Movie. Great movie. Yeah. And another thing that just feels so real, you know? Another thing that's just, it could definitely happen. I mean, it has happened, basically. You know? I mean, how good is Anthony Hopkins? Like, the I whole can't, time. I can't like, think of just another takes... person to play Hannibal yeah. Lecter. Yeah. Yeah. Like you get you get stories of people like this all the time, you know. At games, you get people like uh, the Night Stalker, fucking um, fuck, what's his name? I just had it in set. Richard Ramirez. You like these are very yeah. real people and very real situations. And and like I said, that is the most horrifying thing that you could portray on. Video. Oh, like Jeffrey Dahmer. Like Jeffrey no. Dahmer. Thank you. That's actually great. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Shit like that is super scary to me. The fact that yeah. my neighbor could be this next guy. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, like, my old house was, like, not very far from where the Night Stalker lived, so it's, like, kind of fuck, kind of fucked up. Man. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you guys, what do you guys think? Silence of the Lamb. Fantastic movie. Fantastic, Fantastic. trilogy. Fantastic movie, yeah. <laughs> I love that I'm reading, like, the little description, and it says... We suggest watching The Silence of the Lambs with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. <laughs> Bo- bonus points if you do that, into, if you do the thing into the microphone right now. Oh, no, I can't no, no nobody? Oh, not, fuck I'm me. Not good at it. I don't know. You guys do it at home, please. Yeah, do it at home, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to throw this one to Mike. I'm going to say number seven, Jaws. Can you give me, give, me give, us some, give us some information about Jaws? You know, it's been so long since I've seen this movie. I I have not rewatched it in years. Mm-hmm. But I do think that Jaws as a as a it is one, again one of these movies that changed people because people were afraid to go to the beach mm-hmm. after yeah. this movie. Yeah. Like it literally terrified people. They didn't want to go to the beach anymore. And I mean it's the same thing as like Psycho, you people were fucking standing in their showers halfway because they didn't want to close the curtain to yep, make sure yep. that fucking some murderer wasn't going to kill them Hell yeah. and you know it, it instills that like fear uh in you mm-hmm. and you're just scared of the possibility of it happening to you right oh hell yeah and i think that's i think that's like one of the things that this movie did yeah. uh that that definitely was is a reason for probably being up in the top 10 to be completely honest mm. Yeah. It's a very real fear. Oh, yeah. not, this thing exists. <laughs> and it, yeah. This isn't fake. This it, this actually is a thing. This really this is real. It does happen. Yeah. Uh yeah. So that's crazy. Well, I think, mm-hmm. Go ahead. I think the way they filmed it too and like helped bring out like that fear 
of like being in the water. Oh yeah, what's, there's nothing you don't know what's underneath you, especially with like the the score of the of the the film, mm-hmm. like just the sound of like that, dun, 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 and dun, you, you like. You could be out there, and you know, that could be just going on beneath you, and not you wouldn't know. You yeah. wouldn't know what's you know. You wouldn't feel it, wouldn't see it. You know. Uh, I think Family Talk Guy tonight. said it best when it said when they said, "Damn nature, you scary," because <laughs> <laughs> I, this is very much that. It's very much the uncontrollable yeah. um, randomness, definitely the scare, the horror of nature that this type of thing can happen. Yeah, you know, like, hey, um, you know, I'm having fun with the family. All of a sudden, shark, yeah. shark kills you. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's all kinds of movies and documentaries where somebody lives their life after a shark attack. You know, it's it's horrific stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, here's another one that you know we still haven't faced yet, but it's coming. It's coming. Trust me. It's this is <laughs> this is the one. This 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 decade might be the decade. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um so this is gonna be number six, Alien nineteen seventy nine. I Great fucking film. I love this movie. I fucking hate ever thinking of like this concept, especially after playing <laughs> Alien Isolation. There's no fucking way, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, this is why this is why I decided to not become One. an astronaut. Like it's not because I'm dumb. It's because I did this this scared me <laughs> for the rest of my life. You know? <laughs> Not because I have to do all this schooling and you know all this religious not training. There's a lot of work involved. But... Yeah, no, no, no. It's no not, it, it's... it was the aliens, bro. Yeah, no, it's it's because I'm my... gonna say an alien. I don't want to mess with that. It's not my fucking back or my neurodivergence. You know, it's it's fucking you know, alien, <laughs> 1979, alien. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah, this is one of the best. Like I. Honestly, like I was like, this needs to go higher. Like in my opinion, this would be much higher on the list. Good. We're gonna talk about that in a second, actually. I agree. I agree. I think it should be higher. Although I am partial to aliens, I'm just saying. Yeah. Aliens is fantastic too. Throwing it out there. Yeah. Aliens. I love this movie, but aliens is like my jam. That's like oh yeah. No, it's totally understandable. It's a fucking awesome movie. But you always hear the argument that like aliens isn't really a sci-fi. No, it's an action. Movie. It's an action movie. Yeah. 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 I don't care. It's, it's still it's still love it's still it. Okay. Yeah, it's still a great movie. No, I'm not I'm not denying that. You better not. <laughs> We're all in agreement. This is a fantastic yeah, it's movie. Scary. It's number yeah. six, but maybe yeah. it could be higher. This is a fan- I think it's great because a- you don't see the alien the whole time. He's yeah. Just- it's sneaking yeah, they around. Do, they do that. It's classic. I mean, it's the, it's the Jaws. It's the Jaws. Yeah, they, yeah. Basically, don't show yeah. it to you until it's, it's too this, late. Basically, it's this lingering yeah. sense of dread, and like you know, yeah. it exists, but you don't know in what shape, in what form. You know, yeah. J- Jaws was a shark. You know what a shark was like? like big right? ass shark. You know what yeah. I mean? But you all you needed to see in Jaws, all you needed to see was that that fin, right? Mm-hmm. And then like you see blood in the water, you're like, oh, that's done. Yeah, but like over. especially with the alien okay. you would like hear like the hissing yeah. or you see like the liquid dripping down behind mm-hmm. the person's back and then you're like, oh it was absolutely horrifying especially because you know it, it goes into the unknown where it's like we mm-hmm. don't actually know what aliens look like you know yeah. they're, they're not little they're not like six foot seven gray men with light bulb heads or maybe they are you know fuck it, it you know if, yeah, I think, if they're watching this right now i'm fucked basically because mm-hmm. i'm I'm over here shit talking their entire race at this point you know me looking like the bobblehead that i am uh, they're fucking. just hovering around like uh those <laughs> aliens from simpsons they're just watching us they're just watching that's my favorite show the channel yeah. It, yeah yeah my name is kodos and kang and this is my favorite show on the <laughs> citadel uh fuck it. <laughs> Uh, no, great movie, great movie, great series. It kind of gets weird towards the more modern parts of it, but hey, we're not going to talk about yeah. that right now. Alien vs. Predator is a good movie. The Bride Throwing of Frankenstein, 1935. <laughs> uh, very, very interesting movie. It starts to do the, the thing of um, creating, like, obviously new horror monsters of that time. Um, type of horror monster that we haven't seen necessarily enough of during that time is a female character who, um, you know, 
there's not there's not a whole lot I can say about the Bride of Frankenstein. It was very different for its time. Uh, you, I feel like at the time, uh, the monster of Frankenstein was such a very prolific creature at the t- at you know in its time. Yeah. Um, and it was just it, you couldn't overshadow it, but it was very interesting and very cool that they decided, <laughs> hey, you know what? Let's give this guy a wife. And she fucking hated him. So it was real. Yeah. It was like real life, you know? <laughs> it was about his real, real relationships. Yeah. You know, <laughs> fuck it. Uh, but no, this was cool. It was like Universal was just pumping out monster movies and stuff like that. You, yeah. uh, you got all kinds of shit. Invisible Man, Werewolf, and you know? Yeah. It's just a part of its time. Uh, do I remember this movie being terrifying? Not no. Really. Not really. I remember no. it being a piece. I know, I know of it as a piece of history. Yeah. Garrett, do you know anything it, about this? I've not seen this, no. No? No. A lot, a lot of the older, like, yeah, like these classic movie, I, I have not seen. Like, you even talking about, like, Track, Bram Stoker's Dracula and yeah. Nosferatu and stuff like that. Like, I haven't seen those. And th- those, I know it's, like, a big, like, gap that mm, I yeah. need to, like, I need to watch this movie at some point. But um, I, I've only heard great things about it, so. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, on this end, like you think of Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster, you think of mm-hmm. the original story of he creates this being out of parts, and the townsfolk do not like this shit at all. Mm-hmm. They are not about it. Uh, and you know, back in the day, you get that creation of uh, Frankenstein scared of fire because of the fucking villagers setting his setting uh, Frankenstein's laboratory to flames. Shit like that, or was it Frank? Yeah. Oh, no, it was. Uh, I think it was like a windmill or some bullshit that they hid in. I it was. It's been a while, you know. I, yeah. I'm sorry if I don't remember shit that happened a hundred years ago, <laughs> like a hundred fucking, <laughs> fucking hundred year old fucking movie, yeah. uh, an even longer story. Um, I was, I'm still surprised it's Pride of Frankenstein, not Frankenstein's monster. That's number five. Uh, yeah, that's kind of strange too. Yeah, I mean, you would think like the actual original story of how he's put together, yeah, you know, and how to create life, and then he's this violent, uncontrollable monster. Yeah. So. I mean, hey, IGN, I see you, motherfuckers. <laughs> so, number four, we got Halloween, nineteen seventy-eight, Halloween. Scary I mean, as shit. <laughs> I, I watched it actually last week. We, first Halloween, the, first good Halloween's good. good. Everything after that's absolute yeah. dog ass. But the first Halloween movie, fantastic. <laughs> the creation of this entity that is just a absolute killing machine with no regard for anything else. Um, the story that's created after it, a little weird. It was a little yeah. weird. Starts to kind of explain why he's so unbelievably indestructible in the first movie, but so I went on a um, little movie marathon the last like week. So I I watched one all the way through. I think six is the Curse of Michael Myers, right? So, I so. actually, it's I think I sk- them? It, there's there's, there's, well, there's more. Of them. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh yeah. Man, that's crazy. So <laughs> I skipped number three because Michael Myers isn't in that. But, um, it's the um. It's Halloween, uh, uh, season no, of the witch. Season of the witch. That's where they explain yeah. the pagan ritual that right, did Michael right. Myers. Yeah, yeah. And I, I know I need to watch it. I just, I don't know why I just skipped it. Right. That was um, fucking awful. But yeah, but it's a cult classic. People actually really like that one. They like that one better than they like all the Halloween movies. It's, it's very weird to me. That is um, really strange. But when for once, like one and two are, I think, are good. Um, but when you get to the to four, oh mm-hmm. my, it just a story just goes all over the place. They have like it's they have another like Lori's daughter's there. Well, how do we get Lori's daughter? I yeah. mean, you know, blah blah yeah. blah. Or like, you know, like what happened to Lori? You know, like oh. it should be her story still there because right. of Michael Stone, mm-hmm. you know. And then um and then it just keeps going. It's like following their sto- like that story. And it just gets all these weird twists and turns like from like four to six, like yeah. through cur- like Curse of Michael Myers, and I'm yeah. like, I was like, that's what it's cur- called. No, huh? go ahead. I'm sorry. No. Oh, I was gonna say, like, Curse of Michael Myers is, I think, out of those, like from between four, five, and six, is the is the best out of those three. Like I was like saying, I was like bored during four because like the, all the killings 
scenes, I'm like, what's going on here? Like, mm-hmm. Michael's coming back, like, out of the blue after six years of being, you know, gone or something like that, supposedly. He was on vacation. Then, yeah, he was on vacation. He was, say, he was hanging out with Dracula oh, at Hotel Transylvania. He escaped. That's right. I think he escaped. He did escape again. Like, they, they captured him. Like, he, oh, right, he survived. Right. Yeah, he survived a fire from the second one. So. Some stupid and, shit. Uh, something. Yeah. Something. And I was like, nah, it just, I don't know. It was, I'm. Um, Maybe it was scary, but even like all the slash, like when he's sneaking around and killing people, I'm like, all right, he just killed someone. So, like, you know, I wasn't like, like, like he, and, but in the first one and two, in the second one, I'm like, still like anticipating, like, all right, he's going to come and he's just going to brutally murder this person, like, out of the blue. They got yeah. no chance. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I still think this is a great movie. I remember why they called it Curse of Michael Myers. I was like, I forgot yeah. it was called that shit. It's because yeah. the, it's because the kid is now fucking infected with the Michael Myers magic bullshit. That's mm-hmm. what it was. Yeah. Yeah. God. Yeah. Fuck. I forgot how stupid that. Yeah. Movie, they were. Yeah. They were past, yeah. Now when they were passed, it like it got. It was passed the through the family. Michael got, yeah, it got passed along to the family. Then it got yeah. passed along to like some random kid that was mm-hmm. born on the same day of like when the curses like. That's fucking. The stars stupid. aligned. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God damn it. First one's a banger, though. Yeah, first one's a banger. First one's a good movie. Uh, Number three, we got Psycho, 1960. Classic. We already talked about not being able to shower without having to think that something's on the other side. This this, um, unbelievable, uncontrollable fear that you're going to be taken complete. I'm not going to say it like that. I'm going to say you're going to be completely blindsided (laughs) uh, on your most vulnerable of moments. And that is unbelievably real because this is how I feel every time I go to the LA Fitness and I just, I'm looking at all the other uh, gentlemen and I'm just like, shower home. I'm going to shower at my house. That's what I'm going to do. Because you never know. You never never fucking know. But that's like the only, that's like in the opening scene. And then after that, you get, you go into like, you know, Norman Bateman and like how, you know. His craziness. Yeah, and how much of a psycho he is, huh? Yeah, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jeez, that's why I just shower with, with the door and the, or the curtain open. Just, you know, who cares if anyone sees this wide open? Like, hey, yeah. I'm going to see you coming. If you're going to come at me, I'm going to see you coming. Yeah, you guys got all the same stuff, so what does it matter? Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah you know what? That's a great idea. That's, that's a great I'm going to start doing that because, you know what? If I'm going to be in danger, I might as well bring a weapon with me. You know? You yeah, get what I'm exactly. saying? Yeah. Yeah, but you got to right. let them know right. that you're ready. To, you're ready to go. Right, well, so when you get attacked, you got to let them know gonna... you're packing. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're going to have your fear boner going and attack them back? Is that what we're doing? Fear boner. You ever heard about the, that? The, That's the thing. The fear, oh. the, the fear boner is all you have left. At that point, that's, 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 that's going to save your life. It's, that's your, gonna... it's your most dangerous weapon. It is. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Let them know you have it. Yeah, this is what you're going to get. You're, 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 you're going to hold on. This is a machete, my guy. <laughs> yeah, God. We're, we were just talking about Halloween, too. Fuck it. Yeah. What are we going to get? We're going to get fucking Friday the 13th next? I, I really hope so. But yeah. 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 In in every sense, we're you're packing, you got you got a weapon too, you know. You you brought a knife to a gunfight, you know. Yep. Yep. Yeah. You know, I don't I don't know I, I don't know anymore. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right, number two. Psycho is number three. It's a great movie though, because it is it, it's the it's the quintessential like fucking. If you go to cinematography, if you go to any kind of like cinema class, you're gonna fucking watch Psycho. You can watch Psycho for its unbelievably good uh, dynamic freaking camera angles. It's relatively cohesive story, and obviously that fucking iconic first scene, yep. like that. That's horror. There's a reason why the guys who made Resident Evil or like Silent Hill literally have horror scenes happen inside the bathroom. As soon as you get to the first bathroom, there's some bullshit. <laughs> some absolute dog shit every time you go to you play pt first time you go into that bathroom absolute horror freaking fetus in the sink exactly you know? oh just, just like you know just Night like course. just like prom night you know no. fetus in the sink yep and truly the most terrifying oh fuck the most terrifying thing uh number two is the exorcist 
and did you know uh, did you know that they like absolutely chastised not even chastised they totally alienated uh linda blair after this movie ha absolutely just like almost blacklisted from hollywood or some shit because it, really? it was, yeah because it was so convincing or some crazy shit like that that she might actually be possessed her performance was that just because i'm based on her performance that's i think crazy. her demon or, yeah. yeah yeah but uh there, there was something that i was reading about that where it's like um being part of this movie was like the worst possible thing she could have done for her career i'm like it's a fucking kid basically yeah. like what are you talking about dude um that's that sucks, that sucks for it's super for fucked her. super yeah. fucked but uh you know what's she all... doing now question who knows somebody find that out somebody I mean, in, in, in the audience or garrett i'm, I'm, I'm on it linda, I'm on it. Linda, detector here. <laughs> linda blair i'm on it okay cool <laughs> um everybody has seen this movie and if you haven't please go watch it the exorcist is spooky as shit it is it's what actually got me into well like coming back into it it's like got me into like the occult in that sense where it's like i want to see if i could use the ouija board and start head spinning you know no no which is why i, I did do that i ended up using the board and like Ever since then, I feel like I had this this talk on one of my streams or one of your guys' streams, uh, where it's like, ever since then, I've like noticed a lot of fucking weird, terrible things in my lifetime. <laughs> like that time I was telling you guys back at my old house, uh, the lights would flicker on and off, but there was no actual like flicker. Like there was, the light switch was not moving up and down; it was just flickering. Yeah. And I thought it was just bad lighting. Nah. And then bad wiring, like your house is gonna burn down or something. I know. You know, I, honestly, wires are short now. Honestly, I wish my house did fucking burn down. <laughs> I wish that was the actual thing that happened. Uh, I would hear like children laughing at night, and you could, and when you were in bed, I there's someone that can corroborate this story, <laughs> where uh, you actually feel little fingerprints touching like your legs and feet. No, super you... fucked up. <laughs> you leave at that point. What are you doing? <laughs> Sleeping in bed and being touched, groped by a spirit. Rent was <laughs> real cheap at the time, buddy. All right, this is. I'd this rather is, live on the streets. <laughs> I'd rather live no, in a cardboard no, box at the it, side of the road. That's cheap, that is huh? untrue. Wink. That that is untrue. Wink, yeah. wink, wink, yeah. wink. La fucking yeah, rent. La. No, yeah. I would much yeah. rather something <laughs> from beyond, something from beyond the veil touch me, than, <laughs> than a, a homeless than a homeless man you. or a homeless person touching me. Because at least I know if I fight against a homeless man, or I fight if I fight against the ghosts, what's the worst thing that happens? They possess me. You know, yeah. if I fight against not, a homeless man, bad. which is a hundred percent a fucking loss because they have he might home. possess you too. He, he might has, possess you. Yeah, you never know. Might, in a different way, I'll be his possession. You know, and I'm not gonna beat him. He's got homeless person strength, so he's probably got. Yeah. He's probably like filled with all kinds of drugs that even the military has banned. You know what yeah. I mean? You could probably and flip a car. homeless fights. He's like actually Ryu. From Street Fighter, you know, or he's gonna shoot a Hadouken out of his hand somehow. <laughs> like I don't, I can't, don't want to take that fight. Sorry, oh. sorry. Like five hundred small ghost children. I mean, if you got to think about that in real life, say, say you okay for no like this is a hypothetical. You know, say you went to an elementary school, right, and the kids were picking a fight with you, and there's like five, six hundred kids in elementary. You know, like you could take like four hundred and fifty of them before you start getting tired. You know what I mean? Like one homeless guy equals at least a thousand like elementary school kids. I'm gonna throw that out. That's a metric that I'm gonna start using for the rest of my life. Yeah. Homeless one people says to school guy. children. Yeah. Like like, it's like, it's like, like horsepower, but <laughs> very strange scale you got me going here, dude. Well, you know, it's like yeah, like one homeless dude equals half a ton of elementary school children. <laughs> oh man. What the fuck were we talking about? Oh, we were talking, we're talking about, about the Exorcist, <laughs> right? By the way, Linda, yeah. Linda Blair has not been doing much. She was on a few TV shows and she did a couple movies back in 2012 and 2016. But uh, and oh, she also had a an umbilical hernia that she was treated for in 2014. In case Holy you're wondering, shit. so 
she hasn't been doing much of anything. But back in the seventies, she got busted for for drug stuff, and so she was in prison for a while. Ouch. Uh, yeah, that that yeah. movie must have fucked her up really bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I imagine. I mean, it's a effed up movie. I can't imagine what uh, the actors. But, uh, method acting, you know. Oh yeah, method. Mm-hmm. But you you just don't <laughs> you can't stop. You're not like Christian Bale. You can't just like turn it off. Oh, um, <laughs> fucking. Uh, last thing I'm gonna say about this, unless anybody wants to add on, uh, I think the thing that made this the scariest at the time is that it had a lot of religious overtones, not even yes. undertones. Very like everything about this movie was religious, and there was what was this, what's this movie in the eighties, seventies, seventies, seventy three, seventy three. This is like a huge time in like in yeah. history where people were battling thoughts or battling, yeah. um what it meant to be like religious or what it meant to be you know yeah. like the hippie era like what it meant to be like a free spirit or any of this yeah. other shit and it's just like this is a this is a very crazy time for this movie to have come out yeah well, you know i'm i'm not sure how crazy it was i'm sure it was in the media it was absolutely fucking bananas oh yeah about probably even worse. the news like oh this new satan worshiping movie just came out and you should make sure your kids do not watch this, this is the fucking mortal combat of goddamn yeah. like like movies you know I just think back then you you're reading like a newspaper or you're seeing it on like the television television like whatever five channels that are on that at the time you're not doing it on social media where you're seeing it everywhere and then it just gets diluted as it's being broadcasted. Yeah. You know? so people had some real fear about it. Definitely. Uh, it's bananas. Bananas, man. Uh, I'm going to leave this one to Mike if he's still here. Mr. Nightmare, can you I am end here. us off? Mm. Can you end us this off strong? The can, you can you finish us? So, so The Shining is number one. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if this is number one in my eyes. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm crazy. But yeah, this movie's. It's a creepy movie, but it's. I don't know. It. It's never. It's never like. Been as terrifying as some of the other movies. Like, no. just because it's it it does have more of like the psychological, sort of effects rather than true like horror like blatant horror right yeah. yeah um yeah that's where i i mean that's that's where i stand with that movie it's a great movie not gonna say it's not not a good movie yeah but it's almost like i don't even look at it as like a horror movie it's weird yeah okay uh so i don't so i don't agree with that okay no that totally makes sense so i'm gonna say just jumping or piggybacking off of like the thing i said before it's because that I feel like there's just been a lot of creepy things in my life and a lot of like obviously you know because of the stupid like kids thing like hearing the whispers and hearing them like giggling and shit like mm -hmm. it put me it put me in a place and I think about like if that was my every single fucking day in like the middle of some bullshit hotel like at in you know where I don't even remember where the hotel was I can't remember that much Colorado percent. Mountains thank you but yeah, it's like, if I was isolated in this place where there's been so much, like, history and so much of it is, like, of the occult in this sense, I think mm. that's when it really starts to become, like, the the horror movie. Because you hear about this type of shit all the time where, uh, what is it, like, astronauts for NASA go through the, uh, what is it called? It's the... Uh, deprivation room or, is, or what the fuck is it called mm. where they they lose all the senses and everything and there's no sound they can hear their fucking heart beating and all this other shit and it's yeah. that's kind of like what it is it's sensory like deprivation chamber. sensory mm -hmm. deprivation thank you sensory deprivation and it's very much like this thing it's like you're away from society where we're social creatures and like this in this invading force or this invading like thing like this presence is taking over your mind and you can't do anything about it. There's, it's like you can't distract yourself from it. It's coming at you 100%. I think that's just, for me, The Shining is number one for me it's because that is so fucking terrifying to think that you get so involved into one thing that you lose focus on everything else that's happening around you. And because of that, uh, the like I said, the invading forces come in and attack you and then you just, you just you, you're not yourself anymore. You know, yeah. you, and um, 
I don't know. I've I've been saying this a lot in this this episode, but it's just like the fact that it's so real, like it could actually happen to somebody, is is fucking scary as yeah. shit. Like I could just think of like going to a cabin somewhere and getting like stuck in a storm, and just yeah. I'm I'm say I'm hanging out with you guys, you know, like a couple days we're chilling, we're hanging out, we're playing Xbox or some stupid, um, but like two weeks storm stills going on three weeks we start losing food and stuff we're we're going crazy man we're going crazy and we start we might start hearing shit we might start talking to ourselves and i don't know i think that's absolutely that is, horrifying it's terrifying yeah. for me I, I i would keep the shining as one but you know i'm a, I'm, I'm a little i'm a little different all right now I don't know. It, it, it I, I, Shining is a great movie. I kind of lean towards like what Mike says. Like, it, I don't know if it's a number one, but it's definitely up there. I would say in the top five. That was okay. scary, for sure. Garrett, I was just gonna say this is one of those that I haven't seen. I, I'm ashamed. Okay. I know because this is like, it's okay. on number one on this list, and it's a lot of people's number one. Like I've talked with a lot of people who are like, oh, yeah. best movie ever, fantastic, go watch it. And I don't know. It's one of those I've just somehow the opportunity has never arose, and no. I I very badly want to watch it because I know it's a classic. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm sorry I can't add more to this. I feel like it kind of bummed out. I'm like, oh, number one is this movie I've never seen. Of course, <laughs> but it's like now now it just made, if anything it just makes me want to go watch it more. Like okay, yeah. if yeah. I've had friends who've told me it's great, like this Alyssa tell me it's great. You guys are saying like <laughs> might not be number one, but it's great. Then yeah. I need to check this movie out. So, You're not gonna so I need to make it happen. I, I, I think that the complete consensus is that there's been there's movies that should be not be on this list. There's movies that are kind of in the right spot, but we have finished it here. I personally think The Shining should be number one. That's me. You guys, that, yeah. you know, you guys. Are it's tough. I mean, it's right there's... to also say that that it shouldn't be, yeah. but. You know, if you want to hear... Where was Tremors? There's no Tremors on this list. What's the deal? Right? Yeah, there's no holes either. <laughs> Tremors is great. Holes? <laughs> I was wondering if you were going to hear that. <laughs> what? Um, fucking... But no, that that's... You know, that's... You know, it's the end, that's the end of that. Uh, if you guys would like to hear a little bit more, maybe a top five from us, or you guys have a top five of your own, we do have a Discord... And this will be on YouTube, so hit us up in the comment section. What do you guys think your top five sc scary, spooky, skeleton horror movies are? And uh, we'd love to read it. We'd love to talk to you guys about it, too. But anyways, now we got to move on because we got more shit to cover before we uh, get the hell out of here. <laughs> uh, we have a top 25 horror game thing that we're going to do... After this episode, you guys join the Patreon. You guys can hear that discussion as well. But very last thing for this podcast, right before we get to the little sprinkles at the at the end, um, have you guys ever heard of Underlevel.com? Yeah, you got bet you motherfuckers didn't think I was going to say that, huh? I bet. <laughs> if you have not, please do yourself a favor. Go check out Underlevel.com. Or even go check out the Underleveled YouTube channel where you can see more episodes like this and other fantastic content from creators such as everybody here, minus Garrett. I, I was on the most recent video. Ah, oh, you bitch, you're right. I <laughs> <laughs> some phasmophobia the other night with you boys. <laughs> Guys, as always, it has been fantastic talking to you. I love it. I can't wait to do it again. Jaw 21, Michael Nightmare, and our special guest, Garrett. Please tell the people where could they find you and what are you up to? Uh, I host a podcast called Super Gamer Boys, where we uh, each and every week uh, talk about the video game news and what we've been playing. It's a lot of fun. It's me and two of my other friends, Adrian and JJ. Um, Find it on all podcast services and youtube.com slash super gamer boys. Uh, we also, yeah, we have a few other shows. I just finished up editing yes, last night, came out today to our Patreon supporters. 
uh, and it comes out next week to everyone else. But we did a D and D podcast, Super Dungeon Boys, and uh, whew, it was so much work. But boy, I'm so proud of it. I'm like, it, it's not the best D and D podcast you'll listen to, but you know what? We had a freaking blast recording it. I had a blast editing it. So much work. I'm so proud of it. So if you're into some D and D stuff, we did kind of like a I had a friend do a little spooky campaign for like one shot for us that we split up into some episodes. So um, yeah, check that out. Ooh, very in theme. Hey, and guys, John, my, my, my you guys, can... where could yes. you, where could you be found and what are you guys up to? Uh, you can find me on twitch.com at J21. Uh, and yeah, you can find me there doing art and, just working on 3D characters most of the time. Right on. How about yourself, Mike? You can find me on Twitch, uh, Michael Nightmare, N I T E M A R E. Um, I'm a trophy hunter, so I'm just normally playing games, getting trophies. So, PlayStation trophies, I should say. That's right. Got to clear that up. Are the best kind. Are there other kind of trophies that there I'm are? Not aware of? I'm not well, there's like achievements. I don't know. Yes. Bottom. PlayStation trophy is the only one that matter, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the only one that, yeah, it's the only one that changes like your rank, right? Yeah. No, I mean, Xbox has a two I do it too, but trophy. Man, are... that's just numbers. <laughs> <laughs> These are uh, actual just medals, numbers. man. Just numbers. They're just they, they you know, they, 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 yeah, dude. They freaking, they're not even, they're not even consolation prizes. They're at, you earned them. You did something. That's true. <laughs> And obviously, you guys know I'm Ish. You guys can catch me at twitch.com slash Alchizo, where I do stuff. I don't know. I don't even know what I do anymore, but you'll see me there, I think. <laughs> All the information for the rest of us, uh, the rest of the guys are going to be underneath the description. The underlevel.com is going to be under, under in the description as well. Come on in. Check out the stuff. I believe there's like a coupon or some shit flying around. I don't know. It'll be down there. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thank you so much, Garrett, for taking the time to hang out with us as well. And yeah, thanks for having me. We might, uh, we might ask you to come yeah. over here for another reason. We might we might do some sort of <laughs> Metal Gear Solid podcast or something. <laughs> hey, I'm into that. But yeah, thank you guys so much. As hey. of, as of, <laughs> there he is. As of right now, everybody who cannot actually see us because we're, you know, because they're in the audio space, there's a lot of stuff going on. Please check out the YouTube channel so you can see the entire video of everything that we did. And like I said, other stuff. This is the Underleveled Podcast Leveled Up. Thank you guys so much for listening, and we will catch you again next week. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yes. Say bye, guys. Bye. 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 You didn't say. You didn't say bye, guys. You mother. Bye.